Merry oh, Christmas and have a happy new year. You hear that? Merry Christmas. Thanks, Santa, for coming by, supporting the Dog Patch Barbershop. Has Dog Patch Barbershop been good? Nope. Not at all. What's going on, everyone? Jan Hella here. And it's a little bit after Christmas, so this joke doesn't really run its course all that well, but I still gotta make this joke. Hopefully everyone had a nice holiday season as well as New Year's as we got into New Year's. You guys seen in my previous video that we've encountered some weird stuff. Uh, yeah, link up here. And with my joke referencing uh, the holiday season, Santa Sack had something for us. And that's a whole lot of balls. I couldn't help myself. But yeah, um, I got my hands on quite a few of these actually. These new little uh, <laughs> tin balls. D21 is the one that everyone is looking for. Supposedly, these have a lot of cosmic eclipse. As you can tell, Tater Tot had his fun with, with this one especially. But, for now, we have the Quick Ball, Ultra Ball. I don't remember what this one's called, but it'll be on stream because I totally forgot what the name of this one is. Premier Ball, as we know from Pokemon Go. And if you can tell, these are from Best Buy pre-order. I did come across them locally at my local Target, but I left a bunch there. I think I only picked up two at the time, this one and maybe an Ultra Ball. I want to leave the rest there for whoever else was coming in. Great Ball is another ball we have, also from, from uh, Best Buy. Apparently, we don't have the Pokeball, and that kind of sucks, but we have another Ultra Ball, Quick Ball, and another Ultra Ball. We got a lot of balls today. But the first ball we'll be playing with is the one that Tater Tot was chewing up, and that sounds really fucky. And that's the Quick Ball. And let me know what you guys think about these, these uh, this type of product. I don't like them because they are just piled up everywhere and they're not exactly easy to store. I was trying to get the display so I could actually have them for this video, but by the time I went back, they were completely got rid of them. So usually when I see them, they're all scuffed up just like the way Tater Tot was playing with it. So not exactly a good display piece. This time we get a Suicune coin to finish up the legendary cat dogs. We have one Cosmic Eclipse pack. I know some people have gotten lucky and gotten two Cosmic Eclipse packs from these balls. I don't have that kind of luck. Vivid Voltage, as well as a Rebel Clash that we will be using to open up, to kick off this video. And another reason why I don't like these, these tins is, you know, it's a ball. And shoving a rectangular product, especially multiple rectangular products, in a ball such as this is typically gonna give us some bent corners. I bought some in the past and had that issue, which is why I typically stay away from this set. Or I mean, this kind of product. Wingle. Phantom, Bronzor, look at this. I can't tell if that's a reflection or just his his brethren. Galarian Darmanitan, what we wrapped up the last video with, and our rare. Oh, creamy, decorating. Decorate these balls. That's just sometimes how the ball rolls. Vivid Voltage is still one of our main sets we're gonna be opening up and looking forward to opening up. And what are you guys looking forward to opening up in 2022? Obviously, Vivid Voltage is one I will be buying more of because I'm still on the hunt for Pikachu. Everyone else, I'm sure everyone's looking forward to Brilliant Stars, which is coming out shortly. Um, celebrations, I'm, I mean, there's still a lot of people who don't have celebrations, and I would love to get more because it is still a good-looking set. Wubat, Reggie Rock is our reverse holo and our rare. Oh, Alistair, the silver border almost got me believing that we were ready for Pikachu. Not yet, but we are indeed ready for a Cosmic Eclipse pack, getting our trainer cards, hopefully, especially with the new sets, with the trainer cards in there. We would love to finish that, this style, but do we have that kind of luck? I don't think so. Tag Call, very much so playable card. Now it's out of rotation, Lily's full force. Glolan Grimer, Slugma, looking like a who's that Pokemon scene. Who Cosmog, Pancham, Phantom. Psychic type Phantom this time around instead of Grass and our not so tag team uh, team up Pokemon or whatever. Yeah, there's no. Uh, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Next ball at random Ultra Ball. Shout out to Best Buy for putting these stickers directly onto the ball. Granted, I don't think the adhesive is bad enough to strip the paint off this thing, but that was mildly inconvenient. You know what else is mildly inconvenient? People not commenting down below. Let me know what they think about stuff like this. I need to know. I also need to know why we have a Dragonite coin and not another Suicune coin. Is that the two coins we're gonna be rotating through? And this pack, we have the same spread. 
And we'll go in the same order. Rebel Clash. I don't know what the full art card in here that would be kind of cool to get. I think we did pull a full art uh, Crobat, I think, at one point. But another set that I don't really care too much of. But it doesn't mean we won't be opening it up. Phalanx getting splashed. Good thing you're not rock type. Pop a toad. Capture energy. Roll a coley. Me and Nick were discussing this. I do enjoy Rolly Coley. I like this form. I don't care for uh, the evolutions. Metatite. Grubbin. Cool art. Getting away from, uh, oh, what is that? Uh, we have Grubbin evading Piddo's evolution. That's actually pretty dark. We typically don't see too much of this kind of stuff in Pokemon. Usually we'll see a Pokemon in a tree with a bird type Pokemon around it. Not actively evading its, uh, its natural predator. That's kind of unique, but we'll take it. So Grubbin, Electabuzz. Not to. See, yeah, usually we have a Pokemon in a tree, but there's no other Pokemon antagonizing it from the, in the background. So that's definitely kind of weird. Appreciate it, though. Is this the same scape? Maybe. Sigilyph. Counter-attack Pokemon. Eldegoss V. Decent card. Very much so playable. Not what we want. But we'll take it. We're not that selfish. Just shellfish. Shellfish? I'm allergic to that. I'm also allergic to not pulling any more Pikachus. If we keep getting more Vivid Voltage in here, I would sure as hell hope that we get a Pikachu of sorts. Uh, I would... Much love a uh, hyper rare Pikachu so we can get rid of it, get rid of the hunt. But for now, we'd be hunting. Galdantula. Are you scared of spiders? I'm not. Are you scared of goats? Uh, their eyes are kind of creepy. Wubat. Barracuda. Another one. Aracuda. That is a Barracuda. Evading another one of its natural predators. I guess it's just something that I've never paid too much attention for. What would be the natural predator for a C dot? Squobit? That kind of makes sense. Or a Pachirisu. Fanpy. With his nice little teddy bear, a little teddy or teddy bear. Shuppet. Whale, oh wow. Whale Lord is ready to smash down on that whale mer. That is, okay. I mean, whale, whales be doing that. Birds be doing that. Cosmic Eclipse. Bring forth a Lily. Tag, uh, I don't think they're tag teams, but uh, whatever that card is with Lily and the other whatever Pokemon that it's with, Salgaleo or Lunala, whichever one that is. Beautiful card, beautiful set. Wish I did buy more, but a local card shop did have this booster box on sale for a low, low price of 500 bucks. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Gloom, feeling gloomy, feeling Cilio, Ponyta, Crab Brawler, Carvana, evading nobody, Chinchao, a nice little knitted Azuril. There is an Instagram that I've been following that does this, and it's pretty cool. I will link it down below because that is just some art. I also appreciate how they're going in Pokedex order. Beware the beware. Carry on and run. Oh, that's pretty dark. Curry and run. Okay, well, we know this Pokemon likes to abduct things, so that kind of sucks. Also very suit fitting. Oh! Ends resolve. A full art ends resolve. I will absolutely take that. I still never got my hands on a full art end from the black and white series, Next Destinies. But I will gladly take an end resolve. Great ball of fire to kick it off. I already ripped off the, the, the wrapping and we have some residual scum on here. Dragonite coin. Rebel Clash pack. Again. I guess I'm not the one who's going to be lucky today getting the double, uh, double Cosby Eclipse. But, you know, we'll take the end for now. And hopefully we get some W's because we sure as hell need it, ladies and gentlemen. Milo. Don't care for you. Shuckle. Luxio, top entry. He's a top? Okay. Grubbin. L uh, Lord the Buzz. Not two. Hone Edge. Galarmine. That's a pretty good card, and I wish I had thought about this in uh, in the past. Never thought about it. Ooh, Inteleon VMAX. I think that V deck box kind of messes up wanting this more, but we have an Inteleon VMAX. Ah, oh, Pikachu. Are you in here? I hope so. And like I said, I don't like these because... You know, if in theory you get a PSA 10 out of this kind of box, that is going to be diminished pretty quickly because of the possible... Bruh. Oh, shit. The chance of having the corners rubbed because of it's a rectangle-shaped card in a ball. I, yeah, I'm not a fan of that, but they'll have to deal with that. Electric, Clefairy, Fanpy, what is Teddy Bear? My Pokemon... My, 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 my little buddy back there, he's a little teddy bear. Chatot. That's not a teddy bear. Speaking of leg quake, 
I don't have anything to say about that. But I do have to say, this set, I would love for it to be reprinted so we can get access to a booster Bruh. box. I would actually chase down a booster case to try to get some of the uh, the cards, you know, the uh, player's cards, so we can join the player's club. Rotom, character cards? Null, type null. We haven't seen him in a while. I don't understand. Is type the name for type null, or is null the type? Or what? Ralts, Santa Guest, still very much so confused. And Polyon, still very much so confused about that and type null thing. Let me know down in the comments below if type is the name or null is the name. I don't know. Read it now. Hey guys, um, I don't have any bear facts today, but I do have this Pokeball that will be bearing a sticker on, on the top. It's a, uh, it's not quite a sticker. It's, it's a, it's a label that stores will use for, um, their online orders. So you can differ differentiate what's an online order versus what was bought in store. And the main reason you'll know what the difference is between an online order versus an in-store order. Is whether or not they ordered it in-store or online. Rebel Clash, um, it's a, it's a set that is, I don't understand, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know what they're rebelling against. Um, I just know that it exists and it's a it's a pretty neat set for the most part. Um, Masquerine is a, a Hatchroom. Uh, Toxel is a is a baby Pokemon, uh, one of the newest baby Pokemons that we haven't seen in a while. So it's a very curious type, a little more curious than the, like the Snowbird that's looking at a footprint. Um, I'm pretty sure he's trying to evade people chopping down trees, hence why he he hid himself deep into the forest, but. It seems as if there's gonna be some some people cutting down Christmas trees, uh, and that, that's that's pretty peculiar. Um, Pit of, it looks as if there's a shadow. Uh, I don't know if that's a person standing over them, but or is that the tail shadow? I I, I suppose so. Um, uh, I don't I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Um, it's a pillow, and that that's supposed to be another ball. Uh, we were just surrounded by balls today. And he's covered in balls. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. If, if only had some bear facts to share with you today. Um, I know that uh, during the pandemic, a lot more bears have been brazen. Uh, I won't even say they're brazen, but they've been showing up in places that normally, with human uh, presence, bears would not would not be there. But since there has been lack of human presence, at least early on in this past um, couple of years. Bears have been finding themselves in more po more of these typically more populated areas by humans, but with with the lack of presence, um, not necessarily Christmas presence, <laughs> but lack of human presence, uh, you know that sounds like a sex trafficking type of terminology. Um, there have been more bears around, and that's a that's not a bear. And um, yeah, uh, I wish I wish I would see a bear in person. Uh, I do enjoy bears. Sometimes the corgi behind me, he looks like a teddy bear sometimes, especially when his tummy gets a little fuller, more full of, it's typically full of gas, um, but usually when it's, when his tummy is full of gas and he looks a little round, he looks like a tiny little bear, uh, especially with his tiny little face, um, you know, predatorial, predatory animals have eyes going straight ahead to, to see the prey, such as this, uh, Palkia, typically his eyes would be facing forward, but I don't know if this thing has we ever seen a Palkia head on like that, so it actually might be cross-eyed. Scrub. Pikachu. Shocking out of his um his backside. And speaking of bears, we have a Teddy Ursa. Uh you know, and that's a that's a very good bear. This one looks to be abandoned in this um abandoned in this uh, mausoleum. But uh, yeah, speaking of bears, and here we have another Pokemon. Looking at a Dialga, this one looks, seems to be a statue versus the the Skrelp was actually looking at the actual Pokemon. I I could be wrong, um, but the there that's not a that's a that's a lion. That's a little pig, and sometimes the the puppy who looks like a bear will sleep like this. I really wish I would see a bear run through here and tackle the Swana. I really want that to happen.
And as we are quickly running out of balls to open, we shall open up a quick ball. I am not looking forward to trying to figure out how to store these things after this video because I literally have nowhere to put any of these balls besides the trash. I know some people will use them and put other cards in there to donate or use them as decorum during Halloween or whatnot, but I literally have nowhere to put this stuff. I like this Durant card. It's probably one of the better looking Durant cards out there. It's you, Typically you see a Durant by itself. This one you see it with this whole colony, that, or at least Simon's colony, and that's pretty cool. Electrode, Tool Scrapper, nice little reprints, Bronzor, Toxel, Applin, waiting to be devoured by a hungry, hungry hippo. Do the hippos eat apples? Glaring Dar Darumaka, Bunnelby, Indeedy sweeping up some dust. Hence why my previous video, I was a little, see a little stuffy because of my dusting and my, you know, allergies. It's not anything besides allergies, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> I am allergic to this bird. Vivid Voltage, chasing down Pikachu. If any of you guys already have a Pikachu, congratulations. You're one of many. I am one of many also, but on the opposite side of that, that does not have a Pikachu. Starting off with a Delmize, plenty of those. Trumbeak, charging trumpets. Charge my phone. Trump uh, Electric, Clefairy, Phantom, Yanma, Glaring Meowth, Riolu. Not my favorite art style for this Pokemon, but you know, it exists unfortunately. That's not Pikachu. <sighs> Man, how many balls? Five balls so far, and we have yet to get a character card? That kind of blows. And we have way too many of these grown green code cards, and the fact that I have yet to figure out how to flip it is terrible. Cynthia and Caitlin, two C's. Roller Skater, look at you. New Boo Goofin, Clefairy, Ducklet, Swirlix, Scott Stuck, Alolan Grimer, you are very, very slippery. Slugma, Chinchow, Litleo, that sucks. We haven't seen this ball yet. Premier Ball. And while this ball isn't the only one that's Premier, will be Premier yet on this channel. This is actually pretty cool. I actually like this one a lot more now that the sticker's off of it because uh, it's just kind of plain Jane and simple and we haven't really seen a ball design this playing in a long while. And we still have yet to see another Suicune coin. It's all, it's all been a uh, Dragonite's Rubble Clash. Seeing too much of you and not enough anything good from this set, but you know, that's the game we play. Po not Pokemon though, because there ain't no tournaments yet. And that bothers me. Indeedy. Indeed it bothers me. Metapod, Treasure Bug, a lot of bugs, Temple, Trubbish, Hello Tile, don't know what you're supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be a lizard. Honedge, it's, it's a knife. Litwick. To hamster. It's trash. It's not trash. He's a Charlie Chaplin looking lad, so I appreciate that. But uh, it ain't Pikachu. That's all I know. It ain't Pikachu. And Pikachu, where are you? Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, Scooby Scooby Doo, Scooby Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, Scooby Scooby Doo. Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is, I'm assuming, in some form of tunnel. I wonder if it's a predator for any of the, you know, bugs or mole type Pokemon. Is it? I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a seed. Man, somebody give me something good at some point. We are down to our third to last box, or ball, and we have yet to pull a character card, which is bothering me. But holy shit. Yeah, like I said earlier in the video, this is why I hate this type of product, because it's gonna be jammed in there and have a huge bend, just like a bow and arrow, but, ah, man, please don't have anything good in this pack, because, that won't be worth anything. Beautiful Onyx card, plowing through. Have you evolved your uh, your Steelix yet? Into a Mega Steelix, I have not. Professor Oak, haven't seen him in a while. Well, I guess in celebrations. And her rare. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Not only did we get my boy, Venusaur, we got Snivy, uh, yeah, that thing is doing a nice little S-curve, S-curl. You ever use S-curl in your hair? You won't get it out. Man, of course. The one time we get a tag team Pokemon. And it's curled up like crazy. Premier Ball, you are pissing me off. What else we got? We got another Ultra Ball. If you guys can, let me know what setup you guys prefer when it comes to these type of videos. I had the magazines there because they were a little more, you know, flat, obviously. So I was able to get more depth of field, more room on my desk. But with this new configuration that I have going on right now, I can get a little bit more out of it with with using these boxes as a backdrop. Hey, Suicune. But if you guys do like other back, backdrops around here, 
Comment down below. Let me know which one works best, which is more aesthetically appeasing. I kind of go by what's convenient for me to set up, but this new setup that I configured earlier today, I'm liking it, ladies and gentlemen. I am liking it, but do you? Let me know if you guys like it, because if you do, then we'll make sure that it gets maintained and doesn't get chopped up and messed around, and I'm kind of digging this whole thing right now. The Blade, Heracross. Commission Bucket is coming down to my stomach. Lotad, Growlithe, Rolicoli. What did I breathe so hard that made me have to burp? Galarian Farfetch. I wonder if you're tasty because you carry on the spring onion, which makes me believe you're probably uh, tasty enough to devour. All right. Oh, beautiful My Loaded card. I just always love the contrast of the pink and the blues with a little fleshy tone. I wonder if people have a fetish for seeing creatures with a human flesh tone. Ah, Vivid Voltage. Viv, uh, Vivillion, Vivian, a fox, uh, Vivid Voltage, Vivid Voltage. We are trying to chase down that Pikachu. Will we see one today? I sure as hell hope so. Crack a rock, extra drill, bay, bia, cottony, copopus, electric. Uh, that was almost an alphabetic order. That's a lot of E's right to back, Jilber. That was like three E's. That was weird. <laughs> Talonflame V, Fire Bird, the Phoenix coming out of the flames. Resurgence, Rebirth, I think that's supposed to be a Phoenix, but I hope that we all have a Phoenix from the Flames and experience of 2022. I hope you have that. Please, 2022, give us that Phoenix from the Flames experience because man, 2021 was meh. 2020, 2.0. 2.0 to uh, I don't have a line for two. God, we have so many of these green code cards from this set. Spoiler alert, we're not getting anything. Uh, we're getting upset. We're getting f dragged out of this experience of opening Pokemon cards. Clay, Helioptile, Carvana, we got a pig, we got a ball mouse thing. What the hell are you supposed to be? We got a rock, we got a mouth. Yeah, that was the reverse hollow. Last ball we have, I think this is the luxury ball. This is actually a pretty nice ball, all things considered. This thing has a raised lip on the outside of the ball. So that definitely has a different kind of feel in comparison to these guys, which are, you know, it's fine. Um, I do think that putting these balls in your hands feels nice. Very seldomly do you ever get to hold balls, let alone have two fistful of balls that feels this good. Man, this thing has a lot more detail than the other ones. I like this one. I'll probably put this one on the shelf if I can. What the hell? Open it. Okay. That was a weird one. That was a weird experience. But I liked it. Suicune coin. Ah. Yeah, we didn't get lucky. We didn't get that two-pack magic with Cosmic Eclipse. But I do hope that this Cosmic Eclipse pack does bring some magic, does bring some tag team, does bring some character cards, because, man, we need it. We need some morale boosting. If not, then I don't know what's going to happen. 2020, what, what, what year are, you, are we even in? 2022 now? Jesus Christ. Time has been moving, time has been moving fast, but a little slow at the same time. Barboat, Snorlax, that's a terrible Pokemon. Actually, it's pretty good. Pikachu, please be in here. Please start off 2022 correctly. Start it off with some luck, some hype, some jazz, some Pokemon, some, uh, start it up, I don't know, with something. Sunfisk, Flower, uh, the Fleaf, I mean, let's look, let's look, let's look, Wubat, Beldum. Ah, it's not a Pikachu. Ah, last pack magic, let's go. Cosmic Eclipse, last pack. Will we get it right? Will we get it good? Will we get anything? Please leave it lovely good. <laughs> but wait, one, two, three, four, five. We got almost got mixed up. We almost got got ahead of ourselves. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Iggly buff. Look at the moon. In that it's kind of a creepy looking forest. The trees look to be burnt to a crisp, but we have a little baby Pokemon sleeping by itself in the forest. Will, who the fuck are you? Gold duck. The kind of creepy looking, looks like a kaiju. Swirlix, Grimer, Slugma. I was about to say Slugma, but I was a Grimer, but I got it back to back mixed up. Pangoro, what is Magnum? Yeah, okay. No! I hate it. I like it. Well, I would like it if Pikachu was in here, but that's not how we want to end the video. We want to end the video on a high note, chasing down the hyper rare Pikachu. Hyper Rare, Exploded Pikachu, if we get one this video, oh my goodness, that would be fantastic. Especially since we did not get a single character card. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls? That's a lot of balls to not get lucky with. Man, what the heck? 
Alistair, Metang, I guess an eagle boar ball hunting, Shuppet, Skiddo, Pharaoh Seed, Joltik, Sandile, Electric. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, oh my god. We were so close. So close. We got the Pikachu V Max. Not the hyper rare, but we got the Pikachu V Max. It's not the hyper rare. But we're ending the video with this boy, and I'll gladly, gladly accept more. Even though I do like the promo one a little bit better, this one is still one to end a video with, and that is fantastic. And if you guys haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow the Twitch channel, as I am going to be doing more live streams as they are fun. And with this new setup, I think I will have much better success. Hopefully, you guys will stay tuned for that in the future. Share this video with some friends. Because we need to work the algorithm in our favor, ladies and gentlemen. So close. I feel it. We're getting there. We're bridging the gap that much closer. Almost on our way to getting a hyper rare VMAX Pikachu. But for now, we will pump hard into the new year together. Hopefully you guys stick around for the show. Swoosh. One, two, three. One, two, three. My allergies aren't killing me anymore. At least for now. <laughs> <laughs>